today. Welcome to the Dixie Bell Facebook main page and we are live and on the road actually. So I picked out to do a project that I've been working on a little bit and um, so it was small and they're cute. So today we are painting boots with Dixie Bell paint. Are you guys excited? <laughs> I, uh, I've had these for a long time and I decided finally that it's time to paint them like Texas Gypsy style, right? So right now they have mermaid tail right here and right here and I'm actually going to um, continue painting these. So here's what it looked like before. And now, <laughs> I think they're going to turn out really cute. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. <laughs> um, I brought some little paint brushes and I am going to go ahead and start painting some of, yeah, so I'm going to do some of the honky tonk red. I've got Hunky Tonk Red. If you guys know Texas Gypsy style, I love Dixie Bell's Hunky Tonk Red. I use it on a ton of furniture. A ton. Today is a small project. I promise next time we're going back to furniture. But today we're doing this. So I'm just going to take my little paintbrush right here. And these are leather, but guess what? You guys can paint on top of leather. So, I'm just following some of these. I'm gonna bring y'all in a little bit closer here. Into the, come on in my trailer here. <laughs> so, let's see. Let me clean my brush off a little bit here. So you can see where I've got like some of these little lines already for me. All right. So I'm going to start painting right in here. And I just clean these really well. to get, you know, the grime and the grease off and everything um, that was on here. And I'm going to paint all along here. But the cool thing is I can actually, um, hi Lorenza from Michigan. The cool thing is I can actually seal these up and I can do that either using spray wax I need to put this in my description um, so you can use easy peasy spray wax this stuff is awesome you guys all you do is shake it up and you have to shake it until you can't hear like shaking anymore basically that way you know it's mixtured and has mixtured a word no but you get what I'm saying so mix it up really well after each spray okay and then you'll spray it on and let it let it sit there for just a second and then you can actually um, rub it around with the rag or whatever you want to use so the other way that we can seal these boots, the paint onto the boots, is with our best stain wax right here. And I've grabbed the clear version. You can get brown or white or um, gray, I believe. Black. Black. There you go. Black. And you can use your. Um, 
brushes like this. So you'll just come in here with your wax and you can get it all in there with your um, natural bristle, bristle brushes like so, okay? So, look how cute already. I love them. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear them. Are y'all dying? <laughs> oh man. So, I'm going to I'm going to switch on over to the other boot and I'm going to kind of try one other thing and see if I like it. If not, I'll just paint over it and go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one sitting here so y'all can see it. And I'm gonna put this brush to the side. Y'all like our little uh, camping spot? Okay, we're not camp, we're not camping, but. <laughs> Mm. All right, so I'm going to attempt to do some leopard print on this area, so on the heel, okay? So let's go, because we have time on our hands, right? Okay, so, huh? I got it. Okay. All right. So let's paint with pine cone. You see it? Pine cone is going to go on the heel. I'm hoping it dries really fast. We should be all right. Are y'all seeing it? So I'm lightening this up because. I'm gonna do some black, um, <clears throat> leopard prints on here. And I'm gonna do my best at hand painting them. I don't do them very often, but we'll try. Okay, I gotta get all up in here. So who's painted their shoes? <laughs> I'm excited. I've been like um, putting this project off like for so long. I'm like one day it's gonna come along and it's gonna be the perfect time. It is the perfect time for winter to wear them for sure. This is this color is called pine cone, and I really love this color of brown. Um, it's very taupey, very. It's not exact. Yeah. It's kind of neutral, um, like a nutty peanut buttery kind of look. I just always think it looks really pretty up next to all colors. All right. I'm going to let that dry for just a s Okay. We're going to let that dry. Okay, look. We're going to let it dry for just a sec, and I'm going to pop on back over here. Okay. All right, let's get back to these. So now I'm going to paint. Well, I guess I better finish the top part of this and get y'all over here. Are we seeing what I'm doing here? On the mermaid tail, I actually did two coats to fill it in a little bit better.
gosh, I'm loving these. Loving, loving, loving. How are they drying? Good. Okay. They're almost dry. Awesome. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll get. Let me finish up the top part here. Y'all know I'm going to wear them, right? For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. And the paint just goes on so smooth on top of this leather. It's kind of like even doing, um, you can do it on purses. Leather purses, couches, leather couches. Ah. <laughs> fabric couches. Huh? Fabric. Yep, fabric. Okay. All right, check it. Woo! Oh, we're going places now. All right. Okay, stick that one in the sun. All right. Got it? Yep. Okay. All right, so we're dry on our pine cone. Okay, now I've got caviar. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do my little leopard print with caviar. Okay, that's black. That's Dixie Bell's chalk mineral paint in the black. What will I seal it with? I will seal it either with Easy Peasy Spray Wax or I've got um, Vestang Wax Clear. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dixie Bell. Okay, let's get a, a new brush. If you need me to clean any of them, let me know if I got water. Oh, no, I got, I've brought plenty of them, I hope. No. I think I should be good. Okay, so let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm trying to think. Yeah, and I brought um, I brought some uh, gemstone mousse with me. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think too. All right, so let's. So I'm just kind of making a little. I don't want to make them too big since I'm on such a small area. You know what I mean. And hopefully we can get this dry also. So it doesn't have to be like perfect. Because I'm going to come back in here and put a dot of like the gemstone mousse. And I'm going to be using um, golden gem. Okay. Oh my gosh, are you guys excited or what? <laughs> I could totally come up with a really awesome boot brand. Uh huh. <laughs> Designing boots? Are you kidding? Gay's um, asking, can you paint suede boots? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yes, absolutely. You can paint fabric, and and yeah, you can paint the suede. Um, it'll it'll probably just go on a little differently just like it goes on the fabric a little differently, but it'll all, once you, when, and once you seal it all, especially, it looks really good. Let's see if I can go like this. I'm trying to spread my paint out so it's not so thick, so it drives a little bit faster. Sometimes you have little curvy looking ones. Kind of make that one a little squiggly. Okay. 
Okay. They're not very hard. They're not very hard. <laughs> but I'll be sealing with um, easy peasy spray wax or best sting wax. Easy peasy spray wax. So awesome, you guys. All you have to do is spray it on there. Look. It's coming together. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't wait. We should go on the road more often, huh? Look how cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That one I'll do a little big. Okay. It looks a little, it just starts looking a little crazy just cause we're, wait, we're gonna be putting on the contrasting color. So, your leopard prints look so cute when you got a contrast color. That little dot in, that you usually see, or you gotta add that other color. I'm just throwing them kind of all different ways, up, up and down and sideways and oh my gosh, look you guys. <gasps> oh, I love it. I'm loving it. I'm gonna finish these tonight. <laughs> Wear them tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't worn my boots in forever. Yep, so I'm trying to spread that paint around so I can get them over here in the sun and get them nice and uh, dry so we can put the, that moonshine metallic on there. We'll go back to working on the other one then also. Okay. Yep. All right. Donna's like, give me here. Give me here. Give me here. Hurry. Hurry up. Okay. Switch. All right. Let's get back to this one. Okay. For those of you that just joined, I have painted my boots with mermaid tail. Where's mermaid tail? Let me show you. Mermaid tail, right here. So gorgeous. And honky tonk red. Okay. It's gonna look awesome with my new shirt. I love my shirt. Um, okay. So, I, uh, what, what, what's our time, Donna? Oh, yeah. Uh, so you're at 321. Okay. I just want to make sure I have some time for some moonshine. I mean, not moonshine. I'm always using moonshine on the furniture. The new gemstone mousse. Have you guys used it yet? Is it out yet? Uh huh. It's in our retailer's booth, Vicky's, at Painted Owl. Decor. She's in Newport News. 
uh, retailers, uh, y'all can post y'all's links because I know everybody's super excited to get their hands on all of the new things. Uh, the stencils are out. So y'all have definitely got to check all of those out. I've already used a stencil. Um, I used the Moroccan one and they're nice and big for your furniture. So, and they're reusable. You just, all I did as soon as I used mine, I washed it right whenever I got done with it with my scrubby soap brush that, um, <clears throat> that Dixie Bell has on their website also. So I, I scrub the stencils with the scrubby soap right after I'm done. I soak them in the water in my sink, in my kitchen sink, and away all of the paint went. So they cleaned up really nice. So I was really happy about that. As far as how often the boot should be sealed, mm -hmm. um, as long as they're not getting wet, you know, they... Yeah, just, um, I will probably put, uh, two coats of the Honky Tonk Red on here, and then as far as sealing goes, um, go ahead and, um, seal, do yeah, do one coat and let it sit, and then you'll want to buff, buff that out with, um, with a clean, um, microfiber. you can do microfiber, or you can buff with these, uh, at your natural hair br bristle brushes, and then seal again, and I think you'll be good to go. Are you going to go paint your boots? If y'all go paint your boots, y'all have to send them to me. I want to see them. I want to see them all. All right. How are those doing? Because I want to do my... Okay. Let me throw this on there real quick. And also, I will say, you yes, want. Yes, yep, she's gonna paint her boots. Woo! I will say that you want to. <clears throat> every three months or every ten years or. <laughs> um, I would. I mean, it's gonna settle in. I mean, you still gotta wait for it to cure, but I think, you know, it's. It's not gonna come off. You're gonna be fine. So. If you have any vulnerable spots, you know, but I mean, this paint's not going to, it's not coming off once I seal it. We're going to be good. We're going to be painted boot buddies. Okay. Jill says she's doing this tonight. Oh my God. Send them to me. I want to see them. Okay. Check it. Uh, oh my God. Stop. <laughs> okay. Take those, please. Okay. Let's work on, um, Let's work on our leopard print. Okay, so what I want to say is make sure that you don't have any raised areas like I kind of do right here. Um, I might have to go back and um, sand that down a little bit. You can sand um, just very light grit. So you're, I'm talking 220 uh, or finer. So I just, I don't have any of that oh, on me right now, but that's okay. All right, so we did leopard print in caviar, and the brown, the light brown, is pine cone. And now I'm going to get out the gemstone mousse. As you can see, I've already been using it. Gemstone. So this is golden gem. It's the gold version. And it is moussey. Okay. And... Get. Yeah, you can stir it up like I always like I have these little so look That's all you got to do And then make a mess with it like I do 
I've got another one over here, or another paintbrush I can use, though. Alright, so, come on, get off of there. Um, here, I'll use this one. Alright, so I'm just gonna, I don't like to waste. Heck no. And I like to use my lid for my small projects like this. All right, so let's see if I can make these look a little more like leopard. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So cute. So you just kind of want to hit like not the same way on each one, but relatively, maybe. Dwarves. Oh, so cute. How Texas Gypsy are those? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. Oh, man. Can you stand it? The goal. Uh, Can you? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Are y'all loving these? Are the uh, Nina says hello from Galicia, Spain. Hello. Do you love leopard print? here, your prints, on how you want it all to kind of flow. Uh-huh. There's a, a bunch of different ways you can do your little leopard prints. Mine are kind of all of Yeah, I think they're, as long as you can tell that they're leopard print, I think we're good. You can tell, right? <laughs> oh, that's all, that's Can't all I'm. from Minnesota says she left your boots. Thank you. Okay, I could, I could design with some boots now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Donna, you want some? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't be having me looking all fancy. Mm -mm. Me and my bumper. No. How you pay me a fair bumper? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Latrell says, holy Herod. Uh -huh. Are you talking about Herod's like in uh, what's London? That? What's that? What's that? Herod's is a really expensive um, um, like designer store oh. in in London that oh, I've man. been to when you I was went. Oh, well, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dixie Bell says they love the gemstone mousse with the leopard print. It's... Don't give Krista anything gold. She's going she to find a way to use it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And just so y'all know, um, gemstone mousse is going to definitely be a big part of um, Texas Gypsy style furniture from now on. Big fan. Big fan. Okay. Mm. I'm going to be doing this on both of them. I just wanted to show you guys um, on a dry pair so I'm not like getting it all over the place. Yeah, here. Yeah. gemstone mood it's like you guys I so tell you guys it was so worth the weight on it we're loving it 
just knocking it out of the park. We're loving it. Okay. Not too bad for my first leopard print cowgirl boot. I might add a little bit more caviar right there. I can see where I want it. Now I can see where I really want to like go and fill in, kind of like make this maybe a little bit more round. Because a gemstone this is water based, you can just go over it with the paint. Mm-hmm. Unlike Absolutely. some of the waxes that were oil based. Yes, definitely. What time are we at? Thirty one. I can show you guys how to seal real quick. Since we had a, some people asking about that. I wouldn't be that clear. Well, on on the that one I can. But I mean it's water based also, so I can go right back over it. You know what I mean? All right. So I'm going to set those right here. Can y'all see that? Let me put my thing in there so I don't fall. Okay, so let me get my, get that out of the way. So I'm going to spray um, Easy Peasy Spray Wax on top of here. And the other way is best dang wax and in the clear is what I'm going to be doing. I'll do it on each side. Y'all can see. So this one, easy. And you just want to kind of go a little bit further, like from right here. And it just kind of does a nice mist. And you can let it sit or... Um, I, I, I say like if it's going on top of multiple colors and you don't want them to spread around or get on each other. So just in case, I mean, you can just leave it and not work it in. So that's the nice thing about the spray wax is you don't have to do that. Um, and then, so here I've got best stain wax in the clear. And I think this is probably what most people are would like to use on something like this but um easy peasy is obviously an awesome option as well so even though it's clear it dry it's white it dries clear okay so don't get confused on that okay and you'll want to use a natural bristle brush and i'll just come in here like so and this is water-based also. So if I want to come back in here and paint later on, I can. And you'll just... <laughs> Who's ever shined boots? <laughs> uh-huh. That's exactly what this is like. Because you'll come back in here and you'll buff it. I shined how many of boots in my day? days of the military <laughs> so look it's gonna go in all these crevices for those of you that were asking about um, how to seal it this is it right here I'm getting in all these cracks and crevices Okay, now what'll happen is it'll, that wax is gonna sit there and get, once it kind of warms up, basically it, it, it wants to um, 
sit on top kind of so you'll want to come back in and um, with you know maybe not a the same brush or a microfiber towel or a sponge pad and you're gonna come back in and do it again and that's your buffing that's buffing and that's when everything really gets set in and um, that's when your sealing the sealing process really begins I would say because once you work all that wax in these pores it'll be set when it dries so once it dries it'll you know fill back in Yeah, it'll be soft, it won't be hard. It'll feel just like your leather again. It already does, it honestly, it already does. Um, just by doing what I did. It, it's not- It's a misconception that people think the paint is- Yeah, it's hard. not hard at all. Okay. And I'll do that over the back end, the, the entire boot. Okay. So y'all can take this project, you know, large scale, small scale. Um, it's, it's great. Um, let's see, are we, what are we, what are we on time here? 38. Okay. Um, Does anybody have any questions? I'm, I might go in here and I'll just go in here really quick and I'm going to add some gemstone mousse to the top for you guys. <laughs> Should be loving our moves? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's have a little fun here. Let's see. I'm trying to see where it is. Let me do it on this side. All right, so I might just come in like along this, what do you think? And you, it's nice because you can paint with it, that gemstone mousse, and then I can run my finger down and it will work its way in. I don't have to do that. Um, it can dry just as it is. But if I want to fill it in a little bit more. I love the gold tone against um, turquoise. You know, traditionally, I would say turquoise and silver are very, you know, born like born together, right? But that gold on top of turquoise just really, I love, I love it. And then the red is amazing in conjunction with it. Hey, Betsy. <laughs> Throw the throw, throw on a little red on this side. What do y'all say? What do you say? Ooh, we can fancy now. <laughs> Real fancy. Donna is gonna love hanging out with me tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. Going down to the hotel room tonight. <laughs> Well, man, those are, now that, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Oh man. Oh man. Yep. All right. Well, now y'all have gotten, <laughs> this is full circle, full circle right here. We went there, but we'll see where it ends. You know, we don't know yet. Um, if y'all have any other questions about any of the paint, um, just let us know. So today we worked on 
so many things on such a small project. Leopard print with um, gemstone mousse. We use mermaid tail, honky tonk red, and caviar, and pine cone. I mean, really? I That's a lot of fun stuff going on right there. So, um, if y'all need any more tutorials or anything like that, y'all can go on the Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast group page for uh, Dixie Bell. And you guys can order um, paint from the link that I posted on online. Uh, go check out your local retailers because they've got all the new products. Or at least I know they'll be shipping them in soon. Our retailer definitely has them. But thank you all for coming on here and um, hanging out with me today on our little road trip. I appreciate it. Uh, we will see y'all later. Texas Gypsy Style, Krista Mulkey. Thank y'all for having me. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>